Here I have ticket number 12318, and some viewers who have watched the channel before may recognize this board. It's a two-in-one tablet that I actually done a trace repair for. I don't know if you can see just in the bottom there. We'll go under the, the scope and you'll recognize it if you have watched our videos, which actually if I go over to the scope now and show you a bit of context, it will end up making sense. I'll leave a card in the top right-hand corner of your screen now to show you this video. But I done a trace repair on this. We actually received a comment saying this was gonna be back in the shop within about a week. It was actually about two weeks. I'll probably put the comment on screen now and it wasn't for that exact reason. It was charging, it was charging absolutely fine, but the port has just simply come off with a little bit of strain from the customer. Like any average person would when you go to put a charging cable in and give it a slight wiggle maybe when you're pulling it out, the port has literally just come away from the board. This is obviously a huge failure from my part and I need to rectify it and give it back to the customer. Now, I'm gonna try and explain this the best I can. On the previous video, I may have mentioned or not that there was ground underneath this port, which is helping it stay secure. That ground pad is ripped off, so we don't have the security from ground. However, no excuses here whatsoever. Look at the soldering on the legs if I tilt this board. Now, obviously the port has come away from the chassis, so it's not gonna look like what it did before, but clearly I didn't add enough solder in any way, shape or form to these legs in that video. We all make mistakes and we simply have to own up to them and rectify what we can for this customer. If you don't make mistakes, you'll never learn from them. But as you can see, almost every single leg here hardly has any solder on it. The trace repair itself, I might be able to leave the wires where they are because again, we didn't have an issue with the charging and I might just have to touch them back up to the pins. But I need to make sure that the port is secure. I might even give this, once I've tested it and make sure that it's okay, some hot snot glue just around the port to make sure that it is a little bit more solid than what it was previously. But I'm also gonna make sure that I solder the legs properly on this because I didn't clearly do that before. If you look at the back of the port, this is the ground pad that is also on the other side that has been ripped off. So we've lost that secureness, but the solder at the back doesn't look too bad. But again, I'm just gonna have to go over the whole thing. If I apply enough heat to the back here with my soldering iron, the solder should push through to these ground legs creating a much better bond. I'm gonna to have to make sure that I'm putting pressure on this port to ensure that it's going all the way through. So I'm just gonna to have to put a pair of tweezers here. And then like I said, just heat this area up and go over the connections. So we'll do that now. I'm only using about 350 degrees here with my hot air gun to warm up the area because it is a very, very thin board. So holding that down now and pushing down on the port should hopefully at least put the port back into a level playing field. Okay, that's good. So the board is now nice and warm. I've just seen a leg poke through. Wait for that solder to dry properly before I come in with the iron. I still think it could be more flush, to be honest. I'm going to come back in and push more down the back here. Just enough like that. And again, just hold. Wait for it to dry again, which, as you can see, it clearly isn't. It's a bit better. How's it looking? It's still not sitting flat. Okay. In which case, I come at it from this angle. And I just go from underneath here. So exactly the same, really. But I'm just pushing down this part on the connector when the solder moltens. Just wiggling it and making sure that I have a flat port at least. Straight in through the back of the port, we're gonna add some flux. Because the board will be hot still. The solder should just flow through if we, as long as we get good angles on it. Gonna add as much solder as we can here. Have it soak through to the other side. Bit of isopropyl alcohol and a clean. Now I'm gonna have to reinforce from this side as well, but this already looks a lot better than what it did. That solder is now hugging those legs, which is a good sign, but I'm also gonna come in with a soldering iron from this side to see if there's anything else that I can do or add. Because if I can just get down to there and put some more solder on, that would be wicked. So again, I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of flux here. Put some solder on the end of my iron, tilt the board up a little bit, just like that. Let's see if I can get on this leg. 
just get it to accept some of the solder, some more of it anyway. There we go. Looks a little bit more secure, I guess. There's a lot more solder there. It's not the neatest job again, so I'm going to come in with some flux. Just push it against it, just like that. Okay, yeah, that's a lot better. I'll try and do the same with these legs here. Again, I've got solder on the iron. I'm just going to try and come in from underneath. Push against the leg. Maybe need some more solder here. A bit more flux as well. There we go. That's what I want. It's just on this pad. I mean, it doesn't matter if solder is on this pad, but, you know, just clean up in and around this area. There we go. Okay, so we've done the two right legs now. You can see that they have a lot more solder on them. Now I'm going to come in and see if there's anything I can do with these legs on the left as well. I should be able to now if I was able to do it to the right. So again, tiny bit of flux here. Drop of solder on the iron. Just try and push it against the leg. I need to put some more. There we go. Again, 10 times better than what it was previously. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Again, if I can just get to this little leg here. And just get enough solder to be able to just Fill up that. Wicked. There we go. Okay. Do we look stronger? Most definitely compared to what it was at the start of the video. Look at that. That's good. And again, we'll just quickly tidy up these on the back. Because it doesn't need that excess there. There we go. Nice. That's how we're looking on the back now. And that's how we're looking on the front. I think the solder on the left could probably hug the leg a bit more. So again, I'll come back in with a little bit of flux and just push it against the leg. There we go, okay, good. There we are, looks like it's hugging that leg a little bit more on the left. Now we need to sort out the trace wires, a bit more of a finite job here. So they all look okay from where they started. And again, this pin here is ground, so we don't need to do much with it. I tell you what I do want to do though this time. I want to add some conformal coating here between this wire and this pin, because this pin is ground, so it may short out with this. So I want to put that pin down. Or do I just do this again? That one's still connected. I don't think I need to do it again. I don't know if that's going to reach. Yeah, I think I do need to do it again. I think I'm going to have to. I might get away again with just like jumping things from here to here and even from here to here, but I'd rather reroute this so it wasn't as close to ground here. I've doubled my work essentially by not doing a good enough job in the first place, so it's my own fault. So let's just try and get this conformal coating off, which shouldn't be too difficult to be fair. A little bit of heat and clean that up, we should be able to get it off. Okay, so we've gone from a start again sort of basis, so I'm going to apply some flux. Take our solder and just tin up the areas that we need to use. And then some, I guess. Make it look nice and pretty. Okay, and the job today is to try and give us a bit of a clearer path as to where we are going to and from. So let's put some flux down here. Grab our enameled wire.
And there it is. That looks a lot better than what it did previously. Not even that, the structural integrity of the port is now a lot better. All those pins seem to be connected. Trace repair is quite difficult and it's something that I'm nowhere near perfecting. So I've got the meter in continuity mode now. So here and here is fine. Doesn't touch there, doesn't touch there. Here, does it touch here? Nope, does it touch here? Nope, does it touch here? Nope, does it touch here? Yep, yeah, that's what we want. And here, just to make sure it doesn't touch here, doesn't touch here. We'll touch here, but it won't touch here, good. And touches here, good. And it's stable, yep. And then this is still soldered, which is perfect. Now on the right hand side, do I need to put any more solder? I think that's good to be honest. That looks relatively strong. But I will tap it. Just wanna make sure that this isn't going anywhere as well as that. And just make sure that that pin is down with that, which it is now, good. None of it looks touching, perfect. Now we take our brush. We're gonna heat the area up, give it some isopropyl alcohol. So you'll see the flux melting in a sec. There we go. You can see the flux all melting. Perfect. Now I come in with ice prep alcohol on the brush. And just swipe down. If any of these break, they are not strong enough. Nice. And are we looking good? Yes, we are. This pin far on the left just there is the one that somebody said that needed to be connected to ground. It doesn't need to be connected to ground. However, I will just apply solder for you. And now that pin is connected to that pad, albeit not pretty, but it's connected because we just put some flux there, IPA, and a little brush. Tell you what, just whilst I'm here, I just want to get that pin on a little bit more. There we go, perfect. Much better. I also don't know if that one has enough solder on it. Looks okay. Nudge test to make sure it's nice and secure. Yeah, it's fine. That one is fine and that one is fine. Okay, cool. And again, I'm just putting it in between here this time. As well as down here. Just to ensure we have no dodgy bridges or connections where not necessary. Okay, FYI, I have tested and it does work. <laughs> and now we're gonna cure it and then maybe hot glue it. We went with the option to not hot glue it, and the reason was simply because it was a lot more stable now in the chassis than what it was previously. Charging port works, customers come to pick it up. It's been a good couple of days now and we haven't heard anything. I'll follow up with a courtesy call and then put a note in the pinned comment of this video to let you know if it's still working. I'll reiterate the point, it's always best to own your mistakes, otherwise you're just not gonna learn. Obviously, we treated this as a warranty job, so therefore no cost was incurred to the customer. And when the customer came to collect it, I sincerely apologize for the hassle of her having to come, drop it back in and have it repaired again. Hopefully for the last time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.